Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So today is the 14th of December, meaning my 14th reaction of the month, which is really exciting because it means tomorrow is halfway to Christmas, which is so exciting, and my 14th advent reaction, which is also double exciting. But yeah, today I'm doing a reaction for someone actually in my comments. His name is World of Devon. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce it. But yeah, it's a Family Guy reaction. I know I've been doing a lot of Family Guy reactions lately. Well, not loads, but like quite often this month. But it's just because, you know, he's wanted me to react to it for a while. So I think I'm going to react to the Thanksgiving one that he made. I think it's that Family Guy Thanksgiving special. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for making that for me. And I hope you all enjoy the video. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Hi, everybody. You know how I've been dieting like a maniac the last couple weeks? Ah, uh, damn it. That means we're having people over. We're having people over. I just got off the phone with my mom, and all the pewter schmitz are coming here for Thanksgiving. I can't believe you invited the whole family. You know I hate big Thanksgivings. Don't worry, Peter. It's going to be fun, and I can handle most of the prep myself. I just need you to go to the market and get some extra napkins. That's not so bad. Oh, pick up some wine for the adults. I can do that. that. And put the extra leaf in the dining room table. <laughs> I feel like with stuff like that, it's such an excuse to like pig out. Do you know what I mean? Like Christmas dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, that kind of thing. It's like such an excuse, right? To just pig out on the day. On Christmas Day, honestly, I'm like, I'll eat my roast dinner and then I'll eat like loads of quality streets and heroes and things like that. Just because it's Christmas Day and I'm like, I'm celebrating, you know? Can do that. And put the extra leaf in the dining room table. <laughs> Isla, see, we can do other things together. How's the turkey? I made it myself. Oh, don't look so surprised. <laughs> oh, someone's getting sleepy. Must be the tryptophan. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Janet, coffee? Carla, coffee? Dina, coffee? Sasha, coffee? Dad, coffee? <laughs> I wish I had weird. given you more siblings, Glenn. All right, one, two, three. Yep. <laughs> one more time. Yep. <laughs> Okay, all right, bend the knees. Let's give it a good pull. <laughs> yeah, I think one side is stuck. Do you, son? Okay, on three. One, <laughs> two, three. That's why I'm so glad that on things like that, when you have to set up things, I always be like, sorry, I'm a girl. Like, I'm too weak to pick up the table and you know all of those things all i'd ever have to really do is like get the chairs or something that's all that's all i would have to do is just grab the chairs and put them by the table because i feel like you know i don't want to use those types of excuses like i'm a girl but when it comes to like heavy lifting like you know tables like that and stuff i'm always like i'm sorry i'm just a girl and i'm too weak you know <laughs> okay on three one two three I think it's still stuck. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> a lot of narration. It's like opening a table with Ken Burns. Why don't you go easy on that stuff? This stuff is the only thing stopping you from getting so karate chop right now. <laughs> Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, big pull. On three. All right, one... Two, three. Yep. It's this one side. It's just stuck. I know it's stuck. Everyone <laughs> sees it's stuck. Are there voices you're hearing shouting it's not stuck? Because if you hear any argument from anybody who says it isn't stuck, you send them to me and I will so karate chop them in the face. Got it? Literally would be my reaction to things. I get so angry when things like that happen. But see, I told you, the woman's gone shopping to get the food while the men at home do the heavy lifting with the, the tables that have been, you know, bought 20 years ago, so now they're broken, but we'll still use them anyway, you know? <laughs> so karate chopped them in the face. Got it? Live from New York City, it's the JCPenney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The JCPenney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love. Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. Peter, get in here. You want to tell me what the hell happened to our Thanksgiving turkey? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> last night, Brian and I got drunk and ate the turkey. But before you get mad, we also ate the salad. <laughs> How could you guys do that? Boy, I must have been really drunk. I don't remember any of that. No problem. Instagram remembers for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Peter, we've got a house full of people coming, and they're expecting a turkey. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. <laughs> Zap! You and Brian better get another turkey right now, and don't bother coming back until you do. Don't worry, <laughs> Lois, we will. Yeah, we'll be back with a turkey faster than you can say Jack Robinson. All right, Brian, first order of business. We have to decide who gets to ride in the cart and who has to push it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm smaller, so... The decision has been made. Ooh, oh, oh my one. God. Oh, crap. Looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry. We just sold our last turkey to that guy. <laughs> you are the turkey I have... All they need to do now is just fight over it, you know? Just steal the turkey from the man. That's what I would do. I would just steal the turkey. That is exactly what I would do. You've chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, fudge sickles. <laughs> I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. <laughs> That's it. The belt is coming off. <laughs> what the hell? Mom, mom, it's me. Mom. He sees a baby and knows that he's also a baby. So smart. Mama's smart little boy. <laughs> Uh, check out Quagmire. It's been a year and a half, and he still looks uncomfortable around his dad. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> we brought chicken wings. Oh, yum! I hope they're the kind with the bone removed. I brought marshmallow <laughs> peeps. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need that Pyrex dish back. Okay. I'm gonna need it back now. Carol, it's so good to see you. You too, Lois. God, that is one nice ass. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Jeez, Quagmire, help me out with this. No, he's right. I mean, sometimes chicks die, and it's not anyone's fault. Okay, everyone, it's 2.30. Time for dinner. Oh, my, Lois, those sweet potatoes look delicious. That's the stuffing, Ma. Now put on your glasses before you run over <laughs> another black guy. I'm not sure that that's... What? What are you sure about? <laughs> You're telling me Peter is just, just not whole mood. He is such a mood. I feel like, you know, he's a sort of kind of like relatable dad character. Do you know what I mean? I quite like that about this show. You know, it's got like his nice little stereotypical characters, but also kind of relatable. You can kind of relate even though it's a cartoon, which is kind of weird actually, because, you know, to find a cartoon relatable, you know, but it is sometimes, isn't it? They, they tell you stories and they deliver stereotypes that is true to real life. So, you know, it's not like I'm sitting watching Family Guy like, oh, I can so relate to this. I kind of can, you know? <laughs> hey, Chris, table looks stuck. Oh, really? Sky blue, says Star Witness. Hello, Ida. Hello, Brian. How have you been? Very well, thank you. <laughs> that table for one more? <laughs> the awkward moment at dinner when you're all sat there like, okay, like, what do we say? Um, this is awkward. See, I, I'm with... I'm with Peter on this one. You see, when you get into a big crowd, it kind of gets awkward because you kind of have to make conversation and sometimes that can be awkward and hard, you know? Especially especially when there's so many people. And it's like when you're eating and then someone speaks to you and you've got a full you've got a full mouth of food and you're there like, oh for God's sake, you had to speak to me now. You just had to do it. Do you know what I mean? Hello, Ida. Hello, Brian. How have you been? Very well, thank you. That table for one more. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Kevin Swanson! Son! You're alive! Kevin, go back outside. Hey, everybody pretend this didn't happen. Hey, Joe, what's your favorite preparation of a tomato? General Captain, now you eat up! I call the dark meat. I call the cell phone duct tape to the side. No! <laughs> I also am curious about that. Hey, Kevin, you know I put a yellow Whoa. ribbon on my car for you guys? And, and a little thing that says, I support the troops. Because there's nothing I wouldn't do for you guys. <laughs> wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? 
Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. <laughs> I've seen worse. Only a war hero would say that. Hey, so what about the female soldiers over there? Were they able to contribute? Yeah, you know, they did their best. Just that you would say that means we should treat you different. Come on, guys, let's give them all our best. I told you, it's the stereotypes they always get me. Because it's just, I mean, I'm not going to go, with, I don't even know what to say, but I just feel like I love the stereotypes because they're the most ones that hit, like, just kind of hit at you. Maybe it's because there's an element of truth to some things. Like, I feel like stereotypes because there's like an element of truth you can find, but it's always funny because it's the things that people complain about in life and then you just find humour in it because it's like taking what people negatively complain about in life and turning it into a funny comedic joke. And I like that. When things that are negative are turned into a funny positive joke, a bit of dark, not even dark humour, just humour in general. You know, I just like it. I don't need to ramble about this. I rambled so much in this video, but clearly I'm just enjoying it, you know? They did their best. Just that you would say that means we should treat you different. Come on, guys, let's give them all our best food. Okay, now you <laughs> eat up, and then we're all going to go out back and play some Thanksgiving touch foot. Yeah! USA! I didn't even know there was a war. back with our coverage of the Quahog Thanksgiving Day Parade. Happy Turkey Day, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker and Joyce Kinney live at the parade. No, no, keep the camera over there. I want everyone to see it. This is why we're third. <laughs> and here comes our first float of the day, Tom. It's the James Woods High football team with their not gay review. <laughs> and them a lot. And though that sounds suggestive, let me stress that it's not. <laughs> you're kidding. Well, viewers, to top it off, that's the Channel 5 news van you're hearing. F Phil, Phil, just open it. Unlock the doors. You don't have to put the key in the ignition. <laughs> oh, that must be Joe and Bonnie. Now remember, everyone, let's be cheerful, because Thanksgivings are very hard for them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was told to me in confidence. Okay, so here's your game. I'm, I'm drunk. That's so true. Because it's like, you know when someone tells you something like, oh, but don't don't let anybody know that you know, though, right? But then it's like you have to then treat them differently because of it. And it's like, but to them, I'm not supposed to know. So, like, why are you, why are you saying that, you know? Now remember, everyone, let's be cheerful, because Thanksgivings are very hard for them. <laughs> I know, that was told to me in confidence. <laughs> okay, so here's your game. I'm, I'm drunk, and I'm going to throw the football too hard at my kids. Oh, Dad, do we have to... Ah! <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Game's over if you cry. I want you to learn about life, Chris, because in life, it's like this. <laughs> Peter, I think you may have had one too many. So, yeah, that was the end of that video. Do you know what? I want to say a big thanks to the person who made it. Because I actually really enjoyed that one. I think it was actually one of the ones that I found the most funny out of, like, all the Family Guy ones I've reacted to. But, yeah, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Goodbye. <laughs>